I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my group on mathematics, where we are going to share some problems from the students and provide them with adequate solutions. The very first question which we have taken is based on mixtures. In the solution of this question, I'm going to give you a few concepts about a shortcut method of solving problems related to mixtures, which is also known as the allegation method. So what I've done here is taken two related questions. As you can see here, these are multiple choice questions. Now these are very popular questions from many test point of view. And sometimes you are required to answer these questions within few minutes. Let us see how to solve them in standard way and also using the shortcut which, I, which is normally called allegation method. The question here is, vessels A and B have mixture of milk and water in the ratio 1 is to 4 and 2 is to 3 respectively. In what ratio should the quantities of mixture be taken from A and B to form a mixture in which milk and water ratio is 2 is to 5. Four choices are given to you. Now, same question can be asked in a slightly different way. So we'll kind of modify this. Related question here is, vessel A and B have mixture of milk and water in the ratio of 1 is to 4 and 2 is to 3 respectively. Both mixtures are poured in a bigger container C of capacity 70 liters. If water is 150% more than milk in this container, then find the quantity of milk in vessel A, right? So that's the question, which is a test problem for you, in which again we have four options. And this test problem should be solved within few minutes, right? Uh, let us see how to first apply the standard method of solving a mixture problem and then we'll learn a trick and using the trick we'll solve question number two. So here is my solution to the standard mixture problem. So we are talking about two vessels A and B, right? So let us say these are the vessels A and B. And uh, what we do here is that we take up amounts from them and mix them in vessel C. What we are given here is that the vessel A has mixture of milk and water. Let's say the mixture is of milk with water and the ratio is 1 is to 4. As far as B is concerned, the ratio of milk to water is 2 is to 3. And when we combine them in C, then we want ratio of milk and water to be 2 is to 5. So what quantities of each should be mixed? That is the question, right? So then we'll know what ratio will there be for these two. So let us say we mix uh, x of a, right? So let's say x of a and y of b to form c whose ratio is 2 is to 5 correct so basically if you take x amount of a then how much is water and how much is milk well since we want milk to water ratio let me write like this we what we want is milk to water right and we want this ratio milk to water to be equal to 2 over 5, right? This should be 2 over 5. Now, as far as milk is concerned, if we take out, let's say, x liters of A and y liters of B, then the milk will be how much? It will be 1 fourth of x, right? The ratio is 1 over 4. It will be 1 fifth, right? Total is 5. Since it is 1 is to 4, total will be 5. So the milk will be, in this case, one-fifth right of x plus from here milk is two-fifth right so two-fifth of y 
as far as the water is concerned, it is 4 over 5 of x and 3 over 5 of y. So that becomes the ratio of milk and water. So if we slightly simplify, fortunately we have same denominator of 5, we could just multiply everything by 5 in this case. And what we get here is x plus 2y over 4x plus 3y. So 2 over 5 is x plus 2y over 4x plus 3y. Let us cross multiply. So we get 2 times 4x plus 3y should be equal to 5 times x plus 2y, right? So opening this bracket, 8x plus 6y should be equal to 5x plus 10y. Bringing the terms together, so let's bring x here. So we have 8x minus 5x equals to 10y minus 6y. So that gives us 3x, right? And this gives us 4y. So the ratio of x to y will be equal to 4 over 3. Clear? So we get a ratio of 4 over 3. So we have our answer right there. So that is in which, uh, in what ratio should the quantities of mixture be taken from A and B so that the ratio is 2 is to 5. So our answer here is 4 is to 3. So we get B as the right option. Is that clear to you? So that is the standard method which is normally utilized to solve a mixture problem. Now this was simpler since uh, the denominators were same, right? So the idea here was to explain you the method. Now let us look, look into the allegation method which is a shortcut method. So let us see how this shortcut method works. So I will show you on uh, one corner of this page. Let us say, let's work it here, right? So now we'll do allegation method. Now in allegation method, we concentrate rather focus on one thing. So let's focus on milk itself. So as far as A is concerned, what is the ratio of milk here? Well, if you look into A, the ratio of milk is 1 is to 4 means 1 out of 5, correct? So let's write uh, A and B here. In A, we have milk in the ratio of 1 over 5. In B, the milk is 2 over 5, right? And when we do the combination, then what do we need? We need C with 2 out of 7, right? 2 plus 5 is 7. So we get here 2 out of 7. So that is required, C. Correct? So this is what is required. Now, these ratios, you could always multiply by a number and get rid of denominators. So in this case, it could be 35. So we get 1. Let's do it. So I will write uh, the second. This is the first step. We just write the ratios as given to us. And in the second step, we write simplified version. So in simplified version, what am I doing here is, let me just uh, mark this out. There's very little space, but I don't move, want to move to the next page. Well, we have A, B, and C. These two quantities, we need to figure out in what ratio and C. Now, if I multiply everything by 35, then we get rid of denominators, right? So that gives us 7. And if I multiply this by 35, it means 7 times 2, 14. And as far as C is concerned, it becomes 10, right? So we get a uh, ratio of milk we are comparing right we are comparing milk at present so our focus is quantity of milk in each right so the quantity of milk which we're talking about is 7 14 and 10 now the allegation is you have to subtract the number 
So when you do 14 minus 10, you get 4 here. Do you see that? And on this side, if you do 10 minus 7, always quantities are positive, we get 3. But do you see that? We get a result which is 4 is to 3 in single step. And we get our answer within a minute's time. Do you see that part? I hope you appreciate this. So what we have done is, we have just written this question. Finding the ratio of milk in all the three containers. Here it is 1 out of 5. There it is 2 out of 5. Here it is 2 out of 7. Taking away the denominators by multiplying by a common factor, we are working with numbers. And that is what I call the simplified version of our allegation rule. And the rule is very simple. You just subtract what you need from the other two quantities and write the positive values. You get 4 for A, 3 for B. That is the ratio. 4 is to 3. That's the answer. Does it make sense to you? So this is the method which we are going to apply now to a more difficult question and see how those kinds of questions can be solved within few minutes. Now here is the second related question. So with a minor variation. The question here is, vessels A and B have mixture of milk and water in the ratio of 1 is to 4 and 2 is to 3 respectively. Both mixtures are poured in a bigger container C of capacity 70 liters. If water is 150% more than milk in this container, then find the quantity of milk in vessel A, right? So, it's a very tricky question, but we are going to use the concepts which we learned in our previous first part of this video, right? So, I've taken exactly similar values so that you can correlate and we'll straight away start with the allegation method, right? So, but before that, we need to understand uh, this statement, which is if water is 150% more than milk in this container, right? So that is giving us the required ratio. So when I say 150% more, that means what? Let's try to understand this. So we have milk and we have water. So if I take milk as 100, water is 150% more means it is 100 plus 150. Does it make sense to you? 150% more, right? So that means if the milk is 100, then the water is 250, correct? Now, this is what ratio? Well, let's simplify this, right? So, we can just divide by 10. There you go. And we can divide by 5. So, we get the ratio of 2 is to 5. Do you see that? So, that is the final ratio in the container C. That is what we need. Perfect. So, it is very, very similar to what we just started with. Correct. So again, uh, what we have here is our container A and our container B. What we need is ratio of 2 is to 5. Perfect. So in this container, milk to water is 1 is to 4. In this container, milk to water is 2 is to 3. And what we need milk to water is 2 is to 5. Correct? Now, whenever we apply allegation, as explained earlier, you could either work on milk or on water as you wish. I'll keep it milk since it is related to what we did and it's kind of a repetition so that you understand how exactly this process should be applied. So, as far as milk is concerned, so we are focusing on milk. So as far as milk is concerned, here one fifth is milk, right? So one out of five is milk. In this case, two out of five is milk. And here two out of seven is milk. Correct? So that is our basic structure to begin with. Now, let me write down a simplified version. That is, we'll multiply every number by... 35, right? So, we do everything times 35. The idea is we want to avoid the fractions since even 
Subtracting fractions could be very complicated, right? Okay, so what we have here is this is our A, this is B, and this is C for us, correct? So again, as far as A, B, and C are concerned, the quantities, when you multiply by 35, okay, not 37, 35, 5 times 7, correct? So what you get here is 7. So this is 7, this one is 7 times 2, 14. Here, 7 goes 5 times, 5 times 2 is 10, and the ratio which we get is what we got last time, same ratio. What do you get? 10 take away from 14 is 4, 10 take away from 7 is minus 3, but you have to always write positive quantities. Quantities are never negative, right? So again, we got this ratio of 4 is to 3. Now, let us see how this question is different from the previous one. Now it says here, both mixtures are poured in a bigger container of capacity 70 liters. That means total is 70 liters, right? So if I have 4 is to 3, then what is the total? Total is 7, right? But instead, if I have 70, I have to multiply them by 10 each, right? So it becomes 40 is to 30. Is it clear? So 40 of A, 30 of B. Perfect. So we have got at least the quantity of A, that is the X value, required to get the result. Now, the question really is, it's a complicated question really, a lot of steps involved. It is to find the quantity of milk in vessel A and in vessel A quantity of milk is one-fifth, right? So milk is one-fifth, correct? We need to find the quantity of milk, right? It is one-fifth of the whole. So again, here we'll do one-fifth of 40 to get the result, which is 8 liters. So the option here is option C, 8 liters. Does it make sense to you? Perfect. So a lot of steps involved. Without allegation, this question could take 5 to more than 5 minutes, right? Now here, with the allegation method, now you know how to write these things, right? So the ratio of milk is 1 is to 5 in container A, 2 is to 5 in B. What we need is 2 is to 7. Taking care of the denominators, we get 7, 14, and 10. That means the ratio is 4 is to 3. 4 is to 3 means in a total of 7 liters, we have 4 and 3 liters of A and B respectively. But we have 70 liters, that means 10 times. So we have 40 liters of A, and if we have 40 liters of A, then milk is one-fifth. One-fifth of 40 is 8 liters, and that is our answer. Perfect. So that is how we are going to solve this question. Once you understand this method, then this type of question can be solved. You can time yourself within two minutes, right? And once you get practice within a minute, it should not be difficult, right? So I hope that helps. Once again, thanks for joining me. And keep posting brilliant questions, and we'll come out with amazing solutions to them. Thank you, and all the best.